Boy. New air compressor. It's much needed. California Air Tools. Let's open it up and talk about it. So, I guess because some of you guys care about that kind of stuff, um, plastic and two pieces of styrofoam. Maybe it will come out. Shake it. Ugh. Heavy little bugger for being aluminum. Alright, let's get this out of the way. Alrighty. Sick. So, why don't I clear off this bench and uh, we'll prop it up here and we'll talk about it up here instead. Right, so here it is. This is the California Air Tools 4620AC. Uh, this came recommended from a friend of mine who bought one of their pumps to put on a previous air tank or something of, that he had. Um, he said it's super quiet, kind of anxious to get her cranked up and see how quiet it actually is. Um, but yeah, so aluminum tanks, I believe it's like 5.3 CFM at 90 pounds or something like that. So should be able to keep up with like framing guns and probably roofers. Um, I've got a 10 gallon extra storage tank for when we need a little bit more air too. So, um, but hopefully this will work. So, uh, the reason for the upgrade, I've been running the roll air bowl compressor for the last probably three or four years now. Uh, and I think I might have got a lemon right out of the box. Um, I've thrown some parts at it. I've tried different oil. And in the wintertime, it is just a bear to get going. So uh, I decided maybe it's time for an upgrade. Uh, I bought an oiled compressor. That is what the bowl is. Uh, and it's rated for continuous duty. Um, this time I went with an oil free. I don't know what the duty cycle is on it just yet, but I will have it before the end of the video. So that's why I went with this one. Um, the bowl is super great if you're running a lot of air. It's also super loud. We don't run a ton of air as a lot of stuff is getting moved over to uh, cordless now. So um, air is kind of less important to me. It's still important to have, but it's less important. So uh, I think this will be a pretty good substitute. So um, let's get this guy put together and maybe make some modifications to the home that it's going to live in. And then I'd like to plumb the drain down through the floor so that we can just flip a ball valve and drain the tank at the end of the day. So let's get this guy cranked up and uh, put together and we'll go from there. First things first, I've got these filters that I will spin on when I have two free hands. Uh, and then the place where she will be going is down here where the bowl is currently. So I believe I'm going to have to move this shelf up just a little bit to get it to fit. And then we'll get it all plumbed in. So air filters are on and she is ready for her first crank. So let's listen to how quiet it is. I think I'm going to call that a win. So after a little plumbing action, uh, what I got right now is just a... Uh, street 45 to try and keep everything as close to the tank as possible and then uh, the smallest 
think they call it a close by technicalities. Um, it's threaded both ways, as tight as you can get. And then I have this uh, just ball valve. So we will see if this works. And then what I'll do is when I figure out where the compressor is gonna sit, I'll just drill a hole in the floor because right now this is just a skosh under the floor, maybe like a quarter of an inch under the floor. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll just put this guy on uh, underneath the trailer or whatever to kind of get the air down and out. And that way it'll be kind of within the uh, floor joists or whatever. So then I should be able to just reach in empty the tank, close it up, ready for the next day. Hey, go figure. That air compressor is smaller than this air compressor. So, turns out I'm going to have to uh, ditch this shelf up a couple inches here. Um, and then I think also uh, it is very tight in the width. So, Instead of coming into the little garage area here for the vacuums, I think what I'm going to do is cut uh, underneath this shelf and uh, kind of go into the space that's behind here because there's kind of a void area there. So I think I'm going to cut a section of that out and uh, kind of build it back so that the compressor can sit in there and that I have enough room to get my hand down in here to be able to flip this ball valve to drain it out at the end of the day. So, little uh, little custom work. All right, so I ran the noisemaker and notched out a big chunk here so that I can kind of start to fit up the compressor. And the first location I had it in, I realized that where the drain goes down, uh, you can maybe see screw here, screw here, screw here, which means there's probably a floor member right here. So I had to scoot it a little bit further this way, which is fine because it'll just give more access to the ball valve. Um, so now basically what I'm going to do is uh, this area here has the batteries in it. So I'm just going to build back. Uh, a couple inches here, maybe like six or something. And then I'll actually put the piece I cut out as a back on there that is removable so that I can swap the batteries without pulling the top off. So uh, that is the new plan. Uh, I also moved the outlet from over here to over there so that I could get it in uh, a little tighter because it was hitting the tank. So of course you get one new tool and whole bunch of remodeling has to happen to make it fit. So uh, when we come back, I'll probably have that built and all the plumbing done, and hopefully this will be a wrap. Sweet. So that'll do it. There is the uh, new compressor home. So as you guys can see, uh, I ended up uh, notching out a big chunk here and then kicking that panel back. Um, I just used some rips of plywood to kind of go up and around. And then I did the back panel is actually fit on the inside of this. And I just used pocket holes uh, all the way around so that if I want to access into that cavity to like switch batteries or something, I could just pull like six pocket holes here and take this panel out. Obviously I'd have to pull the compressor out of that cavity to get to the last ones, but uh, that gives the compressor enough room uh, where actually like the compressor and pump heads or the motor and pump heads are actually kind of recessed underneath. And that also gives plenty of room to reach into here for the drain. Um, all that I have left to do with the drain is climb under the trailer 
and put the small little nipple on to extend it down a little bit. Right now it's like flush to the floor basically. So I'd like to get the air just down a little bit further and that'll do it. So of course in any tool remodel, tool trailer remodel fashion, buy one new tool and have to do a bunch of remodeling to make it work. But uh, all in all, I think it came together nice. The other thing I was able to accomplish with this little recessed cavity is that I only had uh, 15 feet and like 9 or 10 inches to here where the panel used to be. So I found out the hard way that 16 foot trim does not fit here. So uh, I ended up kicking this uh, panel over just a little bit further. And by doing that, now I have 16, two or three uh, up to the front from the ramp door. So now I can lay trim in here. And I guess if I have enough trim to, you know, go 16 inches by 16 inches, um, that's a hell of a stack in here. So that should work. All right, so hopefully you guys have stuck around this long. I know this video probably is a little bit longer than what I had intended, but uh, I was making it as I installed the new compressor and well, you saw how things unfolded. So uh, with that being said, I wanted to take a minute to uh, talk about the giveaway for 1000 subscribers, which is fastly approaching. I think I had about 60 subscribers over the last day or two. So. Um, kind of things are coming to life for the channel a little bit. It's uh, made this last week of a lot of videos worth doing and makes me want to keep making them here in the near future. So uh, I need to make up some sweatshirts, t-shirts, etc. for my company Barry Contracting and I thought uh, I can put an order in and I can get you hooked up with some swag. So uh, that order is coming up soon. I'm going to hold off until I have my 1,000 subscriber winner, and then I will send you out a care package with a couple different sweatshirts, a couple t-shirts, maybe a hat. I've never made up hats before, but I've always wanted to, so uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure that you get subscribed soon, because we will do that uh, right before we hit the 1,000 subscriber mark. So. Thanks for following along. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the new compressor. I know with how quiet it is, I really like it. So looking forward to getting it in use uh, as I get back onto the actual job site. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.